day, a brand new day, dear viewer. It's a beautiful morning and I want to present to you a new ray of heaven's brightness unto us today. I am reminded of the famous terms that we use in our country, Kenya. Dynasties, deep states, connections. And when we talk about dynasties, we are indeed talking about individuals who, in one way or another, are related to individuals who have been in power for long in our country. And so there is always a struggle. Who will be the uh, heir when so-and-so is gone home? Who will take over and who will be able to run the agendas of the nation? But today, brethren, the Bible presents a glorious light unto us that we are joined here with Jesus Christ. And so today we are talking about the second class citizens. The scriptures tells me in the book of Romans chapter 8 and the verse 17. It says, And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. That if indeed we suffer with Christ, then we are joint heirs with him. I want to blow up your mind with special truths from the scriptures. But the Bible tells me, Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostril the breath of life. You know, the word life in these scriptures, in the original Hebrew or Greek connotation, tells me that it is a word that represented the whole humanity lives in Adam. That when God created Adam, he not only created one person, but he created all humanity in Adam. And so when Adam fell, all humanity fell. And so if all humanity fell, then we were destined for destruction. But you know what, brethren? The scripture tells me that we are joint heirs with Christ. How can we be joint heirs with Christ? The same scripture talks about incarnation of Jesus Christ. And so you know, brethren, when Jesus was incarnated, simply the process of human, uh, uh, God being hidden in the human veil, Jesus Christ, God himself, being hidden in our human veil, when he was incarnated, then we too, all human beings, were joined together in him. In short, God took all humanity and placed them in Jesus Christ. And so when Jesus Christ came to this earth as human being, he became as a substitute and also as a representative of all humanity. Just the same way God formed all humanity in Adam is the same way he formed all humanity in Jesus Christ when Christ was incarnated. And so the life that Jesus lived, he lived it as a substitute for humanity. The death that he died, he died as a substitute for humanity. And so if the first Adam lost, we can regain it in our second Adam, Jesus Christ. If the first Adam uh, fell a captive of sin, through Christ, our substitute, we can be victors. And so I give the power and the hope today that are you going out and facing a lot of difficulty? Remember you are a heir with Jesus Christ. Remember you are a victor with Jesus Christ. And you know what? His voice is bidding us today. Come unto me. Come that I may strengthen you. Come, I will give you power because you can do all things through me who strengthens you. I am Jovin Odiambo for Kusda TV. Thank you for joining us this morning.